And as Hurricane Milton nears the Tampa Bay area, look at this. Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg is being transformed into a shelter for first responders. You can see here cots stretching all across the field where the Tampa Bay Rays usually play their games. Officials say around 10,000 people will be housed at this base camp. And Tampa is obviously bracing for a direct hit for the, from this major storm. The city hasn't experienced a storm of this magnitude in 100 years. Yeah, and after Helene, the area is still vulnerable. West News' Justin Shecker live in Tampa where the hospitals are making their final preps. Justin. The hospitals and the businesses are making those final preps. We're here on Davis Islands near downtown Tampa. Most of the businesses are already boarded up here. We pan over this. This is Davis Boulevard to my right. This was actually completely underwater from Helene's flooding uh, uh, two weeks ago. Now I want to show you some video near the bridge that leads on to Davis Islands. Check out this water barrier that has been erected around the perimeter of Tampa General Hospital. The aqua fence was purchased in 2019, was put to the test for the first time just two weeks ago during Hurricane Helene. It's designed to protect the building from up to 15 feet of storm surge, so it could really be tested in the coming days from Hurricane Milton. Its main objective, protect the hospital's infrastructure. The aqua fence is our first line of defense for the for the infrastructure of the building, but between our essential energy plan as an alternative source of energy in case power goes out, we have alternative water sources. We have um, days and days full of supplies already here in house. And just two weeks ago during Hurricane Helene, many families did not evacuate from this low lying neighborhood near downtown Tampa. That won't be the case this time. I've talked to a lot of them. They're not taking any chances. They're getting off Davis Islands before Hurricane Milton strikes Tampa Bay. We're live in Tampa. I'm Justin Shecker, WESH 2 News.